It's party time. Oh, it's party time. Having a party. <laughs> you know who's having a party? Michelle Obama, the first lady, y'all. Y'all know me. I'm Michael Lane, man. I don't hide who the hell I am. I'm Michael Lane. <laughs> Much love to y'all, man. But it's party time. Oh, it's party time. She having a party. Michelle Obama is celebrating her milestone birthday. 50. You know what? She's having an extended vacation thanks to her alleged husband, Barack Obama. Now, let me tell you something. That was my wife. I really love her. I wouldn't tell her to go off and have a, you know, you know, y'all know the reports. Go off. I'm going to go back to Washington and you stay in Hawaii and have a party and celebrate with Oprah and them. I'm just going to go back. No, this is a milestone birthday. I'm going to celebrate it with my wife. Right? Yeah. We all know what, I know what time it is. Okay. We all know about the president's stance on different stuff. He's gay. You know, period. He must he must be spending time with Reggie Love, you know what I'm saying, or, or uh, somebody. But it ain't right. Maybe trying to reconnect with some, some other people. But ain't no man going to tell his wife on his on 50th birthday, you go party. I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll be all right. But you think about it. Nobody's really talking that much about it. In the media, none of, nobody's talking about it, man. Think about it, man. Ain't nobody talking about this. This is this is at the taxpayer's expense. Taxpayers are paying for it. Yet another fraud, another scheme, another crap if I let me tell y'all something. The president, this is this is all this is the truth. The president saying, look, man, we can go party. I'm the president. You the wife, you know what I mean? The first lady. You're my wife, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? And we could party, man. We, Man, we, we're living it up now, man. Since these fools voted for us. And, and you can go, man. Just go party, girl. Have good, have a good time, girl. Stay, stay in Hawaii, girl. And just have yourself a good time on your 50th anniversary of your birth, girl. And she's sitting there like, thank you. For the second time in my adult life, I'm very proud of America. Everybody's talking about people in the hood or people in the, uh, 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 in the uh, trailer parks taking advantage of welfare. Now, we got rich folks doing it, too. We got people in power that's doing it, too. And the biggest welfare fraudulent people are the Obamas. Think about it. This trip, the taxpayers are paying for it. Let's not forget the hundred million in Africa. The many, 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 many trips and the many, 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 many golf balls that's been swung by the president was all paid by the taxpayers. Let's not also forget the concert with Justin Timberlake and Smokey Robinson and all these other people, uh, John Mellencamp. That was paid by the taxpayers, too, as he partied and danced the night away. They are well, he's a welfare king, and she's a welfare queen. That's why they want everybody else to be stuck on welfare, especially black folk. Because we're black, and Obama's black, allegedly. And so we can all just be, just dance, hey, stuck on welfare. I am stuck. On welfare, cause welfare stuck on me. And they're partying it down. They like to party. They like to get down. And now Michelle Obama. All she wants to do is dance on a taxpayer's money. And Obama saying, stay girl. Stay. And party. And get down. How do you all feel, taxpayers? How do you all feel by having the president and the first lady being welfare crooks? That's okay. We voted for them. 
We voted for him, and we'll do it again. Celebrate good times. Come on. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's turn America back into America and end this silliness, like it or not.